Peace everyone, I'm Mascard here, and today I'll be showing you how to color beautiful eyes using colored pencils. Alright everyone, these are the eyes that I'll be coloring. I will have this picture available for download for free off my DeviantArt page. That way you can print it out and follow along. With that said, let's go ahead and get into what I'll be using today. First thing that I'll be using is a 72 pack of Prismacolored pencils. You will also need some kind of blade. Along with the colored pencils, I highly recommend that you get a white gel pen. You can also use acrylic white paint. And the last thing you'll be using today is a spoon. I'll explain later. Okay, just as I have expressed in other tutorials, planning is very important. So I have all of my colors that I'll be using for this tutorial. Okay, so starting off, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the inside of the eyelids. So I'm just going to basically color them a little bit and shade them with pinks, reds, and browns. There, I think that looks good for the inside of the eyelids. The next part that I'm going to move on to is the white part of the eye. And I hate to refer to it as the white part of the eye because it's almost never ever actually white. So don't be afraid of color. So what I'm going to start off doing for the white part of the eye is I'm going to go over it with a light gray color. All right, so I hope you can see the difference there. All I did was put a light coat of gray over the entire part of the eye that would otherwise be white. And as the light is entering the eyes, it's going to cast a shadow from the brows down onto the eye. So the top part of the eye here will be a little bit darker, and you just want to darken that a little bit more with the same gray. This is one of the things that most people mess up on when they're coloring their eyes, is they leave the white part too white. We're also going to go through and we're going to add some color to it, because there's a lot of color around the eyes that reflects not only in the iris, but also in the white part of the eye. It's very important to add those colors. So we're going to go through and we're going to add a little bit of pink around the eyes, because all of this pink color and flesh color will be reflected around the eye. All right, now the eyes have a little bit of pink. Now I'm going to add a little bit of light purple. There, that's starting to look pretty nice. I'm going to grab a slightly darker gray, and I'm going to create those cast shadows. All right, now the eyes are really starting to look more three-dimensional. I'm going to take that original light gray, and I'm going to go over all the eye again to help blend in the colors before I switch to a white pencil. All right, so I have that all done. And if you notice, I've stayed away from a couple parts on the eye to just make it the brightest part. I don't want to put too much gray on there because I won't be able to lighten it back up when I switch to a white pencil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white Prismacolor and I'm going to blend those colors in and make it look smooth. All right, you should really be able to see how those colors have blended out. Laying down the white to blend out all those colors is going to desaturate and it's going to lighten up the darker parts. So it's a good idea to go back to one of the gray colors that you used and start to establish those shadows just a little bit more. All right, now you can really start to see the depth of the eyes and the three dimensional look of the white part of the eyes. Now, if you would like to, you can also continue to layer on them and you can add more color to them. In fact, that is what I'm going to do. All right, that little bit of pink really adds a nice color to it. I'm actually going to go pick up a blue also, and I'm going to throw a little bit of blue in there. All right, those colors work out perfectly, and that will be it for the white part of the eyes. Now moving on to what everybody's been waiting for, the irises. So what I will be starting off with first is a very light brown color. Okay, so when it comes to coloring the irises themselves, you want to make sure that all of your pencil strokes go outwards from the pupil. You don't want to go sideways um, or even in little circles because you want to start off from the very beginning, developing the texture and detail. All right, now that the base coat is down, I'm going to go back over it with the next color, which is going to be an orange color. All right, that color is all done. And it might be difficult to tell at this point, but I'm making very clear lines. I'm, I'm really not 
trying to color in the whole entire iris with this color. At this point, I'm going to go to a darker brown and I'm going to start creating the shadows. And just like on the white part of the eye, you're going to have the shadow here at the top. And because the eye is a sphere, as the light bends down, you're going to get a darker line on the bottom of the iris, where most of the highlight will come in the middle here. All right, now the eye's already starting to look a little bit more real. And as you can see, drawing these lines coming outside of the pupil, you can see that the detail that all these lines are starting to create creates that realistic look of a, an iris. Now that I have some of the detail lined out, I'm going to go back to the brown color that I really want the eye to be dominated by. I'm still going to maintain those same pencil strokes, but I'm going to do it a little bit more deliberately to cover up all the white that you see in the eye right now, with the exception of the highlights. All right, now you can really start to see the dimension in the iris. At this point, you can just take the colors that you've used in there so far and continue to make layers, making those same deliberate pencil strokes and keeping that detail. And you can work up the contrast in order to create the three-dimensional look. So I'm going to now take my dark color and I'm going to go back over and I'm going to reestablish those shadows and create more depth. All right, I think that establishes the lighting really well in the eyes. So now moving on to these highlights that I've left. I don't want them to be pure white same way I don't want the uh, white part of the eye to be pure white itself, so I'm going to go over them with a little bit of purple, a little bit of gray, and a little bit of pink. Just kind of match the colors that you see in the white part of the eye. There, now they are a little bit softer and look more real. Now to the real fun part and the reason I have a spoon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose some colors. These are the colors that I'm going to work with, and I'm going to take my knife and I'm basically just going to scratch off some of the tips and create a little bit of a dust onto the iris of the eyes with each of these colors. All right, now that I have all of my colors scraped off onto the eye, what you want to do is you just want to rearrange them, move it around. If you have a little bit of, uh, if you have a little brush, you can brush them around and just just kind of get them where you want them and uh, brush away the excess. When you have them all brushed off and you have all the pieces where you want them, you just take your spoon and very carefully you lay it down on top of it and you just roll it and push the pencil into the eye. And after you do that, you've pushed the pencil wax right into the paper, and it will stay there. So after you've brushed away the final bits that didn't stick to the paper, you can see that I still have plenty left that stayed there, and it looks really great. So the final thing to do is to take your white gel pen and just hit the highlights of the eyes. All right, there you have it. The eyes are all done. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Peace.